Santa. Still confused. The more we advance, the more confused I seem to be getting. So, you know. Alright, can't go in any of those rooms. They're all digitized. God, that's a good one. Can't use those ones. Come on, one of these has to be open. I can't even see one either. That's what those teachers like. Almost missed it. Blended in with the wall. This is definitely from a classroom. Maybe. Probably the office, right? I mean, the room does kind of have that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? I didn't mention it, it does look like that. Well. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonya? I don't find her anywhere. What's long as this guy going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give up already. Floating text again. There are letters floating in the air like the music room from earlier. This looks like a pass from an email or something wrote. I guess it's the same one from earlier. Guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko Enoshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there still is a leader or part of Junko Enoshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shiny future. Immediately eliminated! Does that mean that was in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. It's the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is, a ter is as terrible as it sounds. It's pretty much an all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's the way they'd be forgiven that easily. Remnants of despair have been added to the truth bullet session of your hand. Okay, Kazuichi, what's up? This is bad. Have you? Seriously, I mean... dude. What's something happened to me here when Miss Sonya isn't looking? Guy's so useless sometimes. And why is there a monocuma in here? And it's also weirdly digitized. Huh? Are you serious? Okay. Is there anything else in here? That's the sub there. Subject. Something written on the blackboard. What's right here? That sub subject is written on the blackboard. In large letters. But just below that. Are names I've seen before. Yoko Sironji, Hajime Hinata, Chiaki Nanami, Kazuichi Soda, Megido Komaeda, Gundam Tanaka, Ultimate Imposter, Tere Tere Hanamura, Nekamara Nidai, Fuyuhiko Kuzuru, Akane Owari, Onya Nevermind, Peko Peko Yama, Mahiru Kozu, Niki Tsubaki. What the hell? Why is this an article? There's a newspaper posted on a blackboard below that Yoko Sonji is right now. What is this newspaper? What is this? It says Mess Hyoko Sayonji. You can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we do. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. Pretty much a defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper. In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure. It's too different from the Hyoko we know. What does this mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. She Hyoko's older sister or something. No, it says Hyoko Seonji here. Uh. Then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name. I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. 
Well, it's not like I was that close to her, I think. Wrong! She doesn't have an older sister, yo, because the Sayonji family's only daughter. Hmm. She does have a sister, then, a relative? Ah, it's still too much to resemble. What are you saying? That's Hiyoko. Huh? Of course not! What do you say? Hiyoko doesn't have a covery body like this. I mean, she was famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What do you say? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. Well, regardless of all the clues, I've provided our truth. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth. This is the truth in Hyoko and his newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can we have fought with a grown up Hyoko which is already dead? Why does this even exist? Hey, hey! Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it's a subject, maybe they're like some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment changed Hyoko's body. <laughs> What am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? What's going on? It's better not have anything to do with time travel. I don't know. Who's this guy? There's two little whammy portraits hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name after it, the blackboard says, Let's speak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Wait a second! Founder, let's speak Academy, and this name is Izuru Kamakura. This is clearly contradict the information I've heard earlier. Damn it, another mystery! How is no one noticed? Izuru Kamakura. Okay, I'm gonna shut up because that'll be a spoiler. But, bit, bit, bit. Okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime, you should now go to the next stage. Next stage. I have a bad feeling about that. I don't know what's going on, but what the fuck? Damn it, not again! The hallway is different from last time. I guess when that flat, what, when that flat Monokuma mentioned his raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? That's what I tend to be confused by that. I think about it, just gonna waste my energy. Okay, fine. Just gonna casually, but the door that's open. Nope. And physics. Okay, we're just gonna ignore the fact that that's a freaking dead end. Um, uh, down here? And everything is glitching even worse than before. It seems like the more information I gain, the more buggy the wall gets. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, normally a buggy game, well, I know it's part of the glitch. Okay. Go in this room at least. Cool, they got a pool table. Why the fuck is it levitating? There's a billiard table, a dartboard, a shelf, find the magazines. I like to think a room like this actually exists and says go. More importantly, it's fucking levitating. But anyway, pile. There's a pile of Hotspeak Academy ceiling. Best confidential, I guess this means it's a big secret, right? What an important document like that be here? Why am I even questioning it? Why am I even asking a question now? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the pile. About a Holt's cultivation plan. For many years, Holt's Week Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. Holt's Week cultivation plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will bring a true hope, and will bring hope to the entire. We will birth the true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing knowledge by education. This plan has been the academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions in integral orders. It was full of difficult technical terms, I had no idea what the hell any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression in my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was great for the sake of birthing on true hope. Hope Speak Academy was behind something like that. I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? Um, this seems a bit iffy to me. But anyway, check more random floating text. What's this one say? Looks like another email passage. We got in the report we gave you the other day. We were finally successful in acquiring them, we have and have placed them in our cave. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact we were unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. 
It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems a certain so it seems certain that they survived with the harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to trust them to the survivors of the school Kelly school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future for the folk. Okay. Friends here that they successfully succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by Future Foundation, right? And why is this happening? Future Foundation was protecting us. Why are we forced to kill one another on this aisle? Well, I guess it's not possible that Future Foundation set this all up. What's this? My my, how'd you make? If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get toothache and collapse. Your fault! What is this hologram thing anyway? Hey, um. Is that what it looks like? The Future Foundation's email. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can actually do that! No one's controlling you seems to possess many talents. No, no! Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. Let's do identity to connect everything that's happening up right now. Someone needs to explain that fucking bear to me. Uh. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. Pretty much used to it by now, but even so... What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. I mean... I'm upside fucking down. Even a can is upside fucking down. I'm glitching the hell. What's up? It smells... This close is very close. Someone's coming. Carrie's twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my gut feeling. Definitely real close, at least that's my gut sound. Then answer this with your gut. Is that an enemy on island? Let's see, my gut says... Yeah. They're both! Yo! You're right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? You... I don't know any details, it's just my gut after all. That's true, I guess. Thanks, Akane. Uh, though, why are you standing in a upside down hallway? <laughs> well, it's also upside down. I'm so freaking confused. All I know is that this 8-bit music is kind of good. <laughs> anyway, uh, library? We're just gonna go in the upside down door. So, we'll just jump over the bit where it connects to the fucking ceiling. This must be a library. I wonder if I probably did left something here too, so I should hurry up and find it. Yeah, it's just that email. This hologram again. This might be another one of Future Foundation's email. I should read it, there's no doubt it's that another clue. To the Future Foundation's 14th Division, Makoto Nike. What are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing as a serious act of treason? Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm and think about it's clear that you guys are being lied to. Be careful about what's important to bring the light of hope to this world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memory. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future for the hope. Who does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to the code of 90? But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then what was he trying to protect the remnants of despair for? Did he betray the Future Foundation? What the hell is going on? Uh, anything else that stupid bear might have had here? Um, uh, no? Not that I can see. No, I'll just leave that. Something bad is happening, and I don't just mean the fact that the game is upside down. <laughs> and my throat is on fucking fire, but we shall ignore that. Huh? Did I just walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but uh, this is at the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was at a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. More importantly, why is there a tablet PC on the table? This looks like a tablet computer, and the list of the powers on. It's just a nice clue. I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Neo World Program. This work. Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it a few times already. 
The Neo Walk program has another name. Psycho... Uh, wait, what? Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neo Walk program is built with the most recent, recent psychotherapy technology and America's administrative software. To develop the Neo Walk program, individuals such as the Ultimate Programmer and the Ultimate Neurologist and the Ultimate Therapist were among the many thousand people whose research results were utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in a synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only, and only and any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing abusing the device, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything has started to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts to say ad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing, it's all I, f all I feel is... Despair. Ah! I screamed loudly as I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this! I'm starting to accept that! This, this... There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists! Nice! You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character it. Now then, the spear is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? Uh, I, also, can I just point one thing out? No, it's not letting me investigate the magazine. The Jinko's face is on the magazine and I can't check it. But FYI, I've just found another model camera. I'm good at finding the days without lo really looking for them, to be honest. No. I just look for what sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. Normally it's him. Anyway, let's leave. Hiya! Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing scoop, Chip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made the, the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. <laughs> you guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What ya gotta do? What ya gotta happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... <laughs> FYI, if anyone ever has like, decides to make a game, uh, please make it look kind of like this when it does the whole boxy stuff. That's cool. Like it's the silhouette. That's awesome. Black and white. I know Sonya was back there, and no, I'm not gonna bother talking to her. I've got more important things to do. Hey, this is a What do you want? <laughs> the moment you discover the truth was a lie, all hope will disappear. <laughs> Fucking bear. Okay, now there's just a random block in the middle of the room. Is this floating? It's impossible, there's always something like this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? The moment I looked at that object... What? The... What the fuck? Uh... Welcome to the Neo World Program. A person? Floating person is talking about? Who is it? No. Is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It can talk! But what are you? Alter Ego? Artificial intelligence program? 
I am the master program behind the Neo World program. I am responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the Obseer Observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't really meet. I am sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I'd like the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has affected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is actually pretty peculiar. Hold on! My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's not feeling from earlier again. It's floating, floating like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like my feet... I can't feel my feet on the ground like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has omitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collect it during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detail in Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be, mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances, for example, the school you're in. It appears this place is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm repeating before you now too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of his words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There's no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It would make much more sense if this was just a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is, this is a fictional world? I feel that I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction? Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you could say it's a program for creating hope. Program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories? That's all the program's fault too, right? Deleting memory was the first step towards replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World Program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing web memories of any time period you set? So Monikum was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Putting the program on the survivors of Hope Speak Academy while it's still in the experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world, so I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab, lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they trust in the world, right? Was well, the Future Foundation not our ally? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I would have, wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about this observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly, properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus affecting everything, that has changed. To change this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place, the Neo World Program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capability. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it's it stole the portion of my abilities which contain my authority to build the world. It was like it was like a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. It's probably talking about Marikuma Rock in the fun out. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's the one on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. 
You can do that just by communicating with it. Which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses his alter ego. If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the hell? An artificial intelligence waiting war waiting an attack on another one? That's all friggin' everything! But how did that virus affect the Neo War program? The Neo War program exists in isolation. It's impossible it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo War program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's what most likely happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation facility? But the only person who could enter that facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? I am so confused. Ah, uh, but it's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential ladies. <laughs> so it has a limit too. A limit? If I took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of it. If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey, okay, even if you're now. just a god in the machine, that's enough hits from you. If you're gonna say such a suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to... The defluctuation based on the definition of existence that constitutes a relationship from there to paradise. Change results by being cut off rapidly and cause a situation where your own existence is unobservable and... Accelerates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world and situation from the context and make sure... What the heck? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone's right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you definitely the other one? Maybe. Can't hear my voice on this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video feedback's been getting pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really want to save you right away, but because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. All orders were no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept an outside interference. But also, the ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. So this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is he anyway? Is he an ally? This is no time, I'm about to say what I need to, and believe that you're listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know I apologize and want help, but we didn't imagine something like this would actually happen. We never expected that an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault, it's our responsibility for not realizing it until it's too late. But it's not just a virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To say the truth, I wasn't sure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I went to save you guys. Save us? What did you want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the guardian graduation exam girls, right? You know, 11037. 11037, that's not what we found in the Zoomy Castle. The door to the age of room was supposed to open after the office gathering the host private. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason why I left that 11037 factor, a place where the teacher role would be unable to go. I never thought Nagato who saw it first would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who sent the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I'm entrusting it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they're going to crush you with despair. Using the graduation exam that there was that waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. 
Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario, when an observer who has got who has the role of a teacher goes rogue, I prepared a heading command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the force shutdown sequence. For shutdown sequence! Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Which means even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the force shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Death, 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 death. Hmm? Huh? Say what? What was that just now? Hmm? Hey, actually, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing really. Hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh well. Anyway, that's all the heads you get again. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monica might not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but. It was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Yeah, about that guy just now. Uh, there shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. You see, it'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best. But what do we do? What do we have to do our best at? The mystery is getting solved, I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless too? Then the world is flipped over and becomes so irrational. What am I supposed to do? 